Welcome back to the Haas Online Training Series. In this session, we're going to go over the Market Compare Utility. Now, the Market Compare Utility is very good for when you want to see how a market or a specific market is being affected on multiple exchanges. We can also use this tool to find out if there's any correlation between one market moving up and another market moving down. So let's take a look. Okay, so once we've logged into the HTS platform, what we're going to want to do is hover on the left-hand side and under features, we're going to click market compare. Once we've clicked that, we'll be taken to the market compare window. And you'll notice it's a three pane setup. On the left and right is where we'll actually select the coins or the pairs that we want to look at. And then the middle is where we're going to see the information that the pair is going to provide us. The first thing we need to do is select what interval we want to look at. This can be anywhere from one minute to two days. But for our example, we're going to go ahead and select the five minute interval. So for the first example, what we want to do is just look at BTC USDT pair information from different exchanges that support that pairing. To do this, all we're going to have to do is search USDT up here in the left and click BTC USDT. Now, two things are going to show up when you do enter that. First, under available platforms, it's going to be the exchanges that support that pairing. And then next one is going to be the current value. Now, it's important to note that Although HTS will support any pair on any exchange, only the pairings from the supported exchanges that you have enabled will show up. This is to help pre-filter from all the coin pairings that exist on the numerous amount of exchanges that are available. So the first thing you want to do is let's enable the Binance pair information. So all we have to do is over, hover over this little circle here, click it, and what you'll notice is a line chart show up showing us the information and the coin movement for the five minute interval for BTC USDT on Binance. The next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and enable the Bitrix information. Go ahead and click that and now we'll see a green line represents Bitrix's BTC USDT pair movement. Now this is very good to allow us to see how the pairings are moving and in real time. But let's say we want to see another coins movement. Let's say we're trying to see if there's a correlation between any of the BTC USDT markets and another pairing. So for this example, up on the top right hand corner under search market, let's look at ADA. Now, same thing has happened on the left hand side. We're going to see the available platforms that are supported and the pricing at the different platforms. So let's go ahead and enable the Binance ADA BTC market. Once we click that, we'll see a blue line show up showing the, inf the current movement for that coin. And then we can enable Bitrix's as well, and it will be represented by orange. Hopefully that's helpful in showing you different ways to view multiple um, sets of data and try to find correlations or patterns or just keep track of multiple pairings on the same graph. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, like and subscribe. That way you can have access to our notifications for the next videos. So until next time.